God bless you. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Landmark Church of Holiness through Christ Outreach Ministry, located at 1523 West Washington Street in South Bend, Indiana, where we preach the gospel without compromise, the unadulterated, unmixed, true gospel of deliverance, reaching out to a dying world, letting you know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Set your heart, your mind, your ears to receive this man of God who will show you the way to eternal life. Receive ye him, our pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr. God bless you. We'd like to invite you to watch us every Sunday afternoon on Facebook Live at 1.30 p.m. on the page of Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr., and to listen to our evening service every Sunday on WUBS 89.7 FM in South Bend, Indiana, at 6.30 p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. We also have a Sunday school conference call every Saturday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, taught by Evangelist Beverly Willis. The telephone number is 605-313-5142, and the access code is 388-999-POUND. If you're not able to tune in, you can listen to the playback number, which is 605-313-5153, with the same access code. If your carrier charges for this line, please hang up and dial 716-293-9720. Then dial the number in the access code. We are so happy to be able to share what God has put in our hearts and our mind that ye may be able to be blessed of God and strengthened in holiness. We would like to formally invite you to our July telephone conference. Tonight commences the last night of our conference. It will be held starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern St Central Standard Time and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The men will be going forth, and the topic for tonight will be fighting to be victorious. The night will be hosted by yours truly, uh, Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr. and Apostle Paul Grant. We invite you to come out and be blessed by God. And now we will have prayer. Let's look to the Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this day. Life, health, and strength, the activity of our limbs. God, we thank you for everything that you've done for us. So, God, we thank you for being so merciful and so kind to us. God, giving us grace and mercy, favor. Every day, God, we thank you, oh God, for giving us another opportunity to come into your presence one more time just to hear a word from you. And God, I pray that you would bless someone out there. Bless those behind prison walls. Bless those who are sick and shut in. Those who do not know you in the pardon of their sins. Bless those who need you, who are seeking you for a gift, oh God, who are seeking you for the baptism of the Holy Ghost, for salvation, oh God, who are seeking you for the things that they need. I pray that you send this word out to the highways and the byways, oh God, and bless those, oh God. God, and let your word accomplish what it will, O oh God, and help people to come to you, O oh God, and understand that you are the only way to live this life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Yes. Amen. And now we will have scripture offered up by Sister Tierra Frazier. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless everyone. I will be reading for your hearing Romans 8, 1 through 9, and it says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus have made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, God sent in his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, yeah, yeah. that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Yeah. For, they are, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, yeah. but they that are after the Spirit the the things of the spirit for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace because the carnal mind is enmity against God for it is not subject to the law of God neither indeed can be so then they that are in the flesh cannot please God but ye are not in the flesh but in the spirit 
if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Yeah. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. May God add a blessing to the hearing and obeying of his holy word. Amen. Amen. We truly thank God for that word. Amen. And now we will have the words of Mark Church of God, Holiness Through Christ Outreach Ministries. First on our list today, we will be having words coming from Evangelist Beverly Willis. Let's say amen for her. Amen. God bless you. God bless everybody. Amen. Truly, I thank God for being here on today. I thank God for being saved and sanctified and baptized with his precious Holy Ghost. I thank God for his goodness and his mercy unto me. Amen. I just want to speak a few words on a, um, a lesson that I brought previously, but God put it on my heart to bring it again. Amen. And, and it, it, my title asks a question. Can you say it is well with your soul? Amen. Can you say this is individual? Amen. We're doing some individual examination. Can you say it is well with your soul? So what do I mean by that? Is it well with my soul? Is what well with my soul? Your life. Amen. The life that you're living. Amen. Because the life that you live affects your soul. Amen. The life that you live determines whether you go to heaven or hell. Amen. Is it well with your soul? Amen. I just want to give some definitions here. Amen. Well means to be good and right. Amen. It means to be satisfactory, sensible, beneficial in a good way and satisfactory with God. Amen. This is what we're talking about. Is your soul satisfactory with God? Is God well pleased with your soul? And the soul is that part of the human being that thinks, feels and makes the body act. The spiritual part of a person yes. As, as distinct from the physical and is synonymous with heart and the mind. Amen. Your soul is that inner being in you. Amen. That causes you to be alive. The Bible tells us in Genesis that when God created man, he breathed into his nostrils and that man became a living soul. Amen. Before God breathed into his nostrils, he was just clay. Amen. Formed in the shape that God would shape him in to be a man. Amen. But it wasn't until God breathed into his nostrils. Amen. That he became a living soul. Amen. And because that soul is that part of you that's going to live throughout all eternity, it's important. Amen. That our souls are well pleasing unto God. Amen. And so you need to make sure that you can answer yes to the question, is it, is it well with your soul? Amen. I want to go to uh, a few scriptures. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let's, let's go to Matthew, the 10th chapter and the 28th verse. Amen. Matthew 10 and 28. Amen. It says, and fear not them which are able to kill the, the, the body, but rather feel the, fear the, oh, my, <laughs> can't get my words out. Amen. But rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Amen. This is what you've got to be concerned about because so many people are just concerned about their bodies. You know, they're doing things to lose weight. Amen. They're doing things to make their body look good. You know, wearing makeup and, you know, having nice clothes and nice shoes. Everything is about the body. Amen. But it's time for us to be concerned about our soul. Amen. And it's God who can destroy both body and soul. 
into the lake of fire, into hell. Amen. And this is what we're trying to get you to avoid. Amen. That lake of fire. Amen. Which burneth with fire and brimstone. Amen. Nobody wants to go to hell. Amen. But you got to prepare your soul. Amen. If you don't want to go, there are requirements. Amen. That we must meet. Amen. If we do not want our soul to burn throughout all eternity. Yes, there is a hell. Amen. No doubt about it. Don't let anybody tell you that there is not a hell because there is a hell just like there is a heaven. Amen. And everybody that we say rest in peace, rest in heaven, rest easy. Everybody ain't going to heaven. Amen. You say what you say to make yourself feel good about it, but you need to know what the word of God says. Amen. It is so important that we be concerned about our soul. Amen. And then Matthew uh, eleven twenty nine says, take my yoke upon me, upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest. For your soul. This is where you're going to find rest. This is where you're going to find peace. This is where you're going to have. Find everlasting happiness. Amen. It's going to be in Jesus. Amen. This is why you have to give your life to him. Amen. Because it's only in Christ. That you're going to find rest for your soul. It's only in Christ. That you're going to find peace for your soul. Amen. And it's only in Christ. That this peace and this rest. And this joy and this happiness is going to be eternal. Amen. It's going to be in Christ. Amen. Is it well with your soul? Amen. You can say it to me and you can say it to anybody else. Amen. But when you go to sleep at night, you got to know that if you don't wake up, it is well with your soul. Amen. Matthew 16, 26 says, for what is a man profited? If he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Amen. What would you give in exchange for your soul? Is the things that you're doing out in the world, is that worth going to hell for? Amen. The partying, the drinking, the gambling, the smoking, the fornicating, the stealing. Amen. The cheating, the gossiping. Amen. Is it worth going to hell for? Because all of these things are against the word of God. Amen. Is it worth going to hell for? For that man or that woman. For a man to love a man. For a woman to love another woman is that worth going to hell for amen all of the vanities that are out there in the world amen all the things that that you consider fun amen in the world that's contradicting amen the word of God is it worth going to hell for will you be able to say amen when you lift your eyes in hell that you had a good time even though you're burning amen and this burning and this fire will never be quenched amen even though amen your soul is being tormented because you know that you could have given your life to Christ you know you had the opportunity you know that you could have lifted up your hands and asked God to save you amen but you didn't take that opportunity you thought it was foolish you didn't believe in it amen when you lift your eyes in hell are you going to be able to say it is well with my soul. Amen. Something to think about. Amen. And you don't have to believe me. You can read it in the word for yourself. Amen. You need to wonder why your pastor has never preached this. Why is this in the Bible and it's never been brought out to us? Amen. You need to know before it's everlasting too late. Amen. You've got to be concerned about your soul. Amen. It's so important. Amen. Now in Matthews 22 and 37, amen, Jesus said unto him, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. He wants all of you or none of you. Amen. All of you or 
regard none of you. Amen. And so we've got to be willing to give our heart, soul, and mind to God. He gave his all to us. Amen. When he sent his son Jesus to come down here to live, to suffer, to die for us that we might have a right to eternal life. Amen. And he expects us in return to give our lives to him. Amen. Yes, God will bless you even though you're a sinner. Amen. God reigns on the just as well as the unjust. Amen. But don't mistake his blessings as his approval of your lifestyle. Amen. Because he does not approve of your lifestyle. You know, when you have children, amen, you don't always approve of the things that they do. And you let them know that. But you still feed them. You still clothe them. You still educate them. Amen. Why? Because you love them. Amen. And God loves every last one of us. Amen. And it's not his desire that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Amen. And so just because he blesses you with things, amen, that doesn't mean that he approves of your lifestyle. Amen. So don't get it twisted. Amen. You need to know for yourself, amen, that it is well with your soul. Amen. And there is a way to know. Amen. You can go to God. Amen. You can cry out to him and let him know that you want to be saved. That you want to live the life that he has designed for you. Amen. And that you want to gain eternal life. Amen. I can assure you. Amen. And if you come to God sincerely, amen, he will. Amen. He will save your soul. Amen. Let's look at Luke. Amen. Luke 12, 16 through 21. Amen. It says, and he spake a parable unto them saying, the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself saying, what shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and all my goods. And I will say to my soul, so Uh thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. I know a lot of you all didn't know that that was in the Bible. Because it's a well-known saying, eat, drink, and be merry. Amen. But that's what the rich man said. That's where this saying came from. That's what the rich man said when he had gathered all that he needed, all that he thought he should have, everything that he wanted in the world. Amen. He had it. Amen. And he had so much of it until he had to tear down the old barns and build bigger barns. Amen. To fill up everything that he had. And then he spoke to his own soul. And he said, so, take thine ease. Eat, drink, and be merry. Be happy for all the things that you've obtained. All the things that you have you have gained in this life. Amen. Be happy. Enjoy everything. Amen. But there was one thing. Amen. That he was missing. Amen. And God had to let him know. Amen. It says, but God said unto him, thou fool. Uh Amen. Read it for yourself. Amen. Amen. This is what the Bible says that God said unto him. God said unto him, thou fool. This night, thy soul shall be required of thee. After you've gained everything that you wanted in life. And now you think you're ready to just sit back and enjoy. But you forgot about your soul. You forgot about making preparations for that part of you that's going to live throughout all eternity. Amen. And God called this man. It's your time. Amen. All the time that you were building bigger bonds and, and growing all this fruit and having all of these possessions. 
possessions. Amen. You had time. Amen. To get your soul right. Amen. We won't have an excuse. Well, I didn't know. I didn't have time. Amen. Every day that you wake up, God is giving you another chance. Amen. To live for him. He's giving you another chance to seek his face. Amen. Even if you don't believe any of the preachers. Amen. You have the opportunity to go to God for yourself. Amen. And seek him for salvation. Seek him for a church. Amen. That's preaching and teaching the unadulterated gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, thou fool. This night thy soul shall be required of thee. Amen. Then who shall those things be? Who's going to have all your possessions? Who's going to have all your riches? Amen. Sometimes we leave things to, to children and they just take it and they just blow it. Amen. They waste it. Amen. You don't know who's going to have your possessions. Amen. People go to court and they are ready to sue. Amen. Of the property of their deceased loved ones. Yeah. Amen. You don't know who this stuff is going to go to and you've saved it all and you didn't allow Jesus to save your soul. Amen. It says, which thou has provided. Let me read that again. Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose things though then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not and is not rich towards God. Amen. You got to be rich toward God. Your focus, your main focus can't be on riches and possessions, places you've been able to go, things you've been able to buy. Amen. That should not be more important than your soul. Amen. Nothing, but nothing should be more important than your soul. Amen. And in my last scripture, I'm sorry, next to the last. <laughs> Amen. Ezekiel 18 and 4. Right. Amen. It says, behold, all souls are mine. Oh. This is God talking. All souls are mine. That means that the sinner's soul belongs to God too. You don't own your own soul. Yeah. Amen. You need to know that. Amen. You do not own your own soul. God owns your soul. Amen. And he can leave it with you or he can take it from you at his will. Amen. People wonder, well, why did they have to die? And why did this? Because it belonged to God and he can take it whenever he wants to. Amen. He made you. He put uh, your soul in you and he is able to take oh, it yeah. it rightfully belongs to him yeah. it was brought to you through the breath that God breathed into man's nostrils yeah. and God can take that breath whenever he wants to he does not have to answer to anybody amen we have to answer to God amen so we want to make sure because none of us know amen when God is going to call us home none of us know when God is going to call us to judgment Amen. We just have to be ready. Amen. We have to make sure that our soul is ready. That our soul is right with God. Amen. Is it well with your soul? Amen. It says, behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the father, so also the soul of the son is mine. So you have to remember that just like God owns your soul, he owns the soul of your children. Amen. So if God decides to take them, amen, at 10, right. at 2, right. at 15, right. at 17, amen. How can we say God is unfair when it belongs to him? Amen. It belongs to him. He gives you these children for you to raise in the beauty of holiness, for you to raise in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. That's what the Bible says to train up your children. Amen. But so many people are allowing children to raise themselves, allowing them to explore and do things and make up their own minds. Amen. And, and make up their own decisions. Amen. I don't even know what they have a parent for amen come on now amen your 
children are too young to make their own decisions in everything. Amen. There are some things that as a parent, we have to say no. We have to say you can't go there. You can't do that. You can't say that. Amen. And then we have to have an appropriate discipline for them if they disobey. Amen. This is what the Bible says. Amen. And so not only God, not only is God requiring you to get your soul right, but he's also requiring you to keep your children in the line of holiness. Amen. Because their blood is going to be required at your hand if you do not teach them, train them, and raise them according to the word of God. Amen. And so if God decides that he's going to take them, amen, then we cannot, amen, accuse God falsely, amen, because these souls belong to him. Amen. Let me read that again. Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the father, so also the soul of the son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Amen. These words are plain. They are clear. They are in black and white. It's not in any small print where we can't understand. Amen. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Now, I know that some of you all are thinking, you know, well, every soul dies. Amen. The, the, the ones that say they say they die. Amen. But you have to understand that this is talking about the second death. Amen. Let's look at Revelation 21 and 8 because there's two deaths. Amen. There's this natural death where we leave here. Amen. And, and we're buried six feet under and our soul goes wherever, either to God. Amen. Or to eternal torment. Amen. But then at the end of time, God is going to judge the world. So you're going to rise again. Amen. To be judged by God. Amen. And if you're judged to be guilty of sin, amen, then you're going to go to the lake of fire, which is the second death. But I'm going to read that so you know I'm not just making this up. Revelation 21 and 8 says, but the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and adulterers and sorcerers, I'm sorry, and idolaters. And all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. This is the second death. This is the second time you're going to be raised again. Amen. And then you're going to die again. This is for those, amen, that did not, amen, give their souls to God. This is for those that did not believe, amen, in any of this stuff that we're talking I don't believe that. I don't believe that. And what you don't understand is when you don't believe, you are displeasing God already. Amen. Amen. The Bible, first of all, says, what if some don't believe? Does that make the faith of God of none effect? God forbid. Amen. And the Bible also says that without faith, without belief in this, it is impossible to please God. Amen. You can't even please God if you don't believe. Amen. So how do you think that you're going to go to heaven anyway? Amen. I would suggest that if you don't believe this word of God, you better be seeking God to know if these things are so. You better be seeking God to know if the way that you are living, amen, is going to get you into heaven anyway. Amen. I can already assure you it won't. But still, you have the right to talk to God. You have the ability to talk to God. Amen. He sits on his throne waiting to hear from you. Amen. But you got to talk to him in sincerity. You got to talk to him like you want to know. And if you find out that it's true, you're going to live this life. Amen. If you are sincere in asking God, he will show you. Amen. Those of you that even want to be saved right now, because you already know the way. Amen. You can open up your heart.
heart to God right now. You don't have to wait till the church doors open. Amen. You can open up your heart to God right now. Amen. You can lift your head. Bow your head. Amen. And ask God to come in and wash you and cleanse you from your sins. Ask him to forgive you. Let him know that you realize that you are a sinner. And that your soul, amen, is not well with God. Amen. Do it in sincerity. Amen. Call on God to save you, to sanctify you, to baptize you with the precious Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep on doing it. Amen. Until you feel that change. Amen. Because he will make a change in your life. He made a change in our life. Amen. We weren't like this always. Amen. God made a change. Amen. And he'll do it for you too. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. I hope something was said. Amen. To stir up your hearts and minds. Amen. To give your life to God. To stay with God. Amen. So you can say, it is well with my soul. God bless you. Amen. Now we will have words of exhortation coming from Minister Marvin Frazier. Give him the praise, somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. Lord, you worthy of the praise, God. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's all right to praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him with us, Facebook. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Oh, God, we bless your holy name, God. We thank you for your word, oh God. We thank you for your living word of life, oh God, which is able to save the soul. Amen. Every word of God is right. Hallelujah to his name. It'll make you walk upright. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. Amen. Every word of God is right. Amen. Thank God for being in the house of God one more time. To worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Give honor to my pastor, my bishop, Thomas H. Willis Jr., anointed man of God. Amen. And his wife, Evangelist Willis, anointed woman of God. Hallelujah. He said in the last days, I pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Hallelujah. Thank God for the outpouring of his spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. It takes the word of God to live in these last and evil days. What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Amen. The preacher was preaching and the teacher was teaching. Letting you know it ain't all about the money now. Amen. The money ain't going to stop you. Amen. Amen. From living a life of holiness. Amen. Money won't. Money can't get you a victory over the devil. Amen. The devil don't want me to preach, but I'm going to preach it anyway. Amen. The money, money will not give you victory over the devil. Amen. The Bible told us to labor not to be rich. Labor not to be rich. Why? Because he that's hasty to be rich shall not be innocent. Amen. But that's what the problem, they got their minds focused on that. Amen. The Bible, I think uh, Paul told Timothy, they, uh, they perverse men with corrupt minds. Th- supposing that godliness is gain. Amen. And they try to bring that into the church and put down the folk. Amen. Because they ain't got it. Amen. But he said, godliness with contentment, that's great gain. Amen. Amen. It ain't all about the money now. Amen. Let's go to the scripture real quick. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the scripture. We're going to go to Acts chapter 3, verse 1. See, the thing about it is you got to get in the book. Yes. Amen. Man, should not live by bread alone. Amen. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, yes. putting folk down. Amen. 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 Don't you know that Jesus said, the poor you have with you always. Yes. Amen. Amen. But uh, we understand. Amen. I heard my big brother preaching last night about God is a God of increase. He is. Yes. Amen. Amen. God is a God of increase. Poor you have with you always. That don't make, mean you the one that got to be poor. Right. Always. Right. Amen. Amen. But don't set your affections right. on your riches. Amen. Amen. Losing sleep. Amen. Amen. Taking your focus off God. Don't you know God is against you running up the money and you done left God? Come on now. Left God for the money. Come on. Amen. Devil still taking preachers down yeah. with Luca. Come on now. 
Amen. Amen. It's time to live holy, saints. Amen. When you live in holy, you're going to make God first in your life. Amen. So who's ruling you? Amen. Ask yourself, is, do you let, are you letting God have rule over you? Amen. Or is you letting your enterprise have rule over you? Is you letting your business have rule over you? Amen. You letting the flesh have rule over you. She read the scripture. Amen. Therefore, there, man, there is now, therefore, now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Amen. Because the spirit of, amen, of Christ Jesus that made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak in the flesh. What? God sent this only son, Jesus Christ, in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. That we might live right. That we could be free. That we could be holy. That we could have access to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Access to God for ourselves. It's time to be holy. Amen. Amen. And when you holy, you won't put things before God. Amen. 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 I don't like that. I don't like Amen. that. You gotta watch. You gotta watch these spirits. Amen. Amen. Can't, can't receive every wind of doctrine. That's right. Amen. But the Bible said they are cunning. Some of these folk, they they lie waiting to deceive. Amen. Amen. Waiting to, to, to pull a wool over you. Waiting to creep in little things. Amen. But the devil is a liar. God gonna have somebody with spiritual discernment. Amen. Amen. Acts three and one. Amen. Let's look at let's look at this thing. Yes. Amen. Amen. Who told you it's all about the money? Say it. Say it now. I'm just riding off what evangelist was preaching. <laughs> Go ahead. Acts Amen. three and one. Amen. Acts three and one. Yeah. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple. They did the what? Hour. They went up to the temple at the hour of prayer. They was on. They was going to church. Amen. Amen. They was going to worship the Lord. Right? Amen. Go ahead. Amen. Being the ninth hour, mm -hmm. and a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, yes. was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, mm -hmm. to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Keep going. I'm trying to get somewhere. Who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, about to go to the temple, asked an alms. Uh -huh. And Peter... Fastening his eyes upon him with John, yes. said, look on us. Uh -huh. And he gave heed unto them, yes. expecting to receive something of them. Now, let's focus down on the sixth verse now. Then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. Wait, what did he say? Silver and gold have I none. They was on their way to worship the Lord See? into the church house. Come on. But they was broke. See? Who told you to put saints down from worshiping God because they broke? Come on, come on. Life does not consist on the abundance of things that man possess. Come on. Worship say, God. Yes, if yes, If you yes. broke, worship God. Worship God. Get in your book. Yes, yes. Amen. He said, Amen. silver and gold have I none. Uh -huh. This was an apostle. Yes. He said, silver and gold have I none. Come on. Who told you to put the saints down because they broke worshiping God in right, church? right. Amen. Right. Get in your book. Some Amen. folk is naturally rich, but spiritually poor. Amen. Amen. Naturally rich, but spiritually poor. Come on. Amen. When it comes to God, they malnutrition. See? Amen. But they satisfy their flesh. Amen. I have a need for nothing. You got a need to do the will of God. Amen. Some preachers need to get back to preaching the old time way. Amen. Get back in the way of holiness. Amen. Get back to preaching what God say. say. Get back to saying what God say. All right now. Hey Amen. God is against this stuff. Yes. Hey Amen. God is against you. Hey Amen. Going after riches and you left him. Yes. yes God is yes. against you preaching compromising messages. Yes. God is against you appointing and anointing people that wasn't sent by God. All right. All right. All right. Those that wasn't called by God. Come on. Amen. But because you got the, because you able to, yes. and in a position you going to know, hallelujah. Come on. Everybody that's called of God will speak those things that, that is of God. Amen. 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 You will know them by their fruit. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Folk ain't preaching right. It's time to shun them. Oh, yes. Amen. And pray for them. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to say I enjoyed you if I ain't enjoy you. All right. See? Get back to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is a friend. Yes, he is. Yeah, I said Jesus is Jesus a friend. Jesus is a friend. 
Yes. Amen. He's closer than any brother. Yes. yes. Amen. The Bible said that a friend loveth at all times. All times. Amen. Come Jesus down. love you. Yes, he does. Amen. And I love you too. See, Amen. he don't preach love. Come on, come on. Oh, he come always on. coming against folk. The devil is alive. See? I come against sin. Hey. I come against things that God is against. Amen. But I love you. All right, Amen. Man. Jesus love. The greatest yes. love message. Amen. The greatest love message, evangelist, is come God on. so loved the world. Yes, yes. God so loved the world come on that he gave his only begotten his son. Only. Amen. That whosoever believeth on him, believeth in him. Come on. Because you got folk, they believing on him. All right. But you got to believe in him. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. yes. Whosoever believeth in him yes. shall not perish, but have everlasting Ever life. Life. Why? Because God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. But that the world through him, him might be saved. Yes, yes, amen. Yes. But you still got to receive the love of the truth that yes, you might be amen. saved. Amen. Greater love have no man than a man to lay down his life for his friends. Yes. And he said, you are my friends. Ye are my friends. If. 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 If, if preacher. Come on, come on. If, if you do whatsoever I say. If. So there is no relationship with God if you in sin. Amen. Say hallelujah, Amen. somebody. It's right. Amen. I said there is no relationship with God if you in sin. That's right. Somebody done lied to you. All right. Amen. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot say. Come on. Neither is his ears heavy that it cannot hear. Come on. But your sins your sin. have separated you between God. All right, all Sin right. separates you from God. Yes, it there does. is no relationship with God if you in sin. Amen, amen, amen. I know I'm telling it right. Amen, but, but you got a lot of manipulators now. Come on. You got to watch these lies. Yes. Listen to what the Lord is saying. Uh -huh. Watch the lies. Amen. Why? Because the devil will make a lie sound like the truth. Yes, he will. He's oh, a yes, deceiver. He yes, yes. He's a deceiver. Yes, he is. And he lieth from the beginning. Come on. For there is no truth in him. None. When he speaketh of lie, yes. he speaketh he of his own. Because he is a liar. Yes, he and is. the father of it. Yes, Amen. Yes. And you in the pulpit, you preaching lies, you a child of the devil Amen. too. Amen. Amen. With your Amen. title self. Oh. With, your, with your anointed self. Everybody anointed see, nowadays. See. Everybody anointed nowadays. Right, right. Everybody got the spirit of tongues now. So they say. Amen. But the devil is a liar. Yes, he Amen. Is. God did not dwell in an unclean temple. No, no, you no, got to no. be holy, holy. sanctified, yes. meet for the master. Oh, you. Yes. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. God is against fornication. He said, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Neither fornicators. Amen. It's Galatians 6. And, what? Amen. There's so many scriptures in the Bible. Yes. That's yes, teaching yes. against Amen. the works of the flesh. Galatians 5 and 9, 19. What does Amen. it say? Amen. Preaching against these lies. Yes. Amen. These compromising preachers. Amen. Making excuses for people to remain in their sins yes. until being perfected. Amen. God want us perfected. Yes. God want us holy. Yes. Amen. It's not going to change. Come on. Well, I'm tired of hearing that. That's the problem. That's why you in trouble. Yes. You can't get so full the way you feel like you, amen, don't need to get fed to. Come on. Right. Amen. Holding the truth in unrighteousness. Yes. Amen. God yes. is against this stuff. Yes, Go ahead. Is. All right. Galatians 5, 19. Amen. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Now these are things that God is against. Amen. Uh-huh. Which are these? Which are these? Adultery. Adultery. Fornication. Fornication. Now, now there's adult, there's a spiritual adultery. Yes. And there's a natural adultery. Amen. 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 Those that was called a God that used to preach sound doctrine start committing adultery against God, come on, come getting on. another message yes. because of the people. Yeah. Because of fame. Amen. Because they want a oh, full house. God. Amen. Amen. Because they want men to speak well of them. Yes. But he said, Amen. Woe be unto you if all men shall speak well unto right you. Now. Amen. When you stand for holiness, folk is going to be against That's you. That's right. Folk Amen. ain't going to offer you to come preach at their church. Come on. Amen. They want the spiritless pastor to come preach at their church. See? They want them religious folk to come preach at their church. See? Amen. But holiness is not a religion. No, it's not. It's time to live right, church. Come on. 
Come on. Amen. I ain't finna pay man be putting no prosperity message over the saints. Come on. Get rich, saints. Get rich. Right. Get money. Get money. Come Say up it. out of that. Say no, I'm gonna preach. Get up out of your sin. Amen. Amen. Stay right, Amen. church. Amen. You can make it. You can hold on. Yes, you you can. can endure. See? Keep your head up. Yes, yes, yes. Keep yes. your head up, saints Amen. of God. Amen. I ain't preaching no pop of prosperity message. Keep your head up, saints. Amen. Amen. He said, I will lift up my eyes. Yeah. I will lift up my uh, eyes. Uh, uh, Amen. Uh, uh. You can't look to God with your, with your head down. Well. Amen. I said you can't look to God with your head down. Come on. Amen. Unless you close your eyes in prayer. Amen. Amen. But we shall lift up. Look up. Yes. yes for your yes. redemption draw off now. Yes. Amen. You see the signs of the time. Yes. You see the amen what evangelist is reading. You, you find all it right in the church. Amen. Adultery going on right in some of these right churches. The church. Just because you got the name, that don't mean that it's good enough. Come on. Because you got a lot of folk. Amen. The devil's slick now, evangelist. See? Yes, yes. I said the devil is slick now. Amen. You know what he's doing? He got his ministers. He said, no marvel, because even Satan himself transformed to the angel of light. So it's no small thing if he make his ministers angels right, of light. You know right. what they're doing now? Come on. They preach your holiness. See? See? These false preachers and lying devils preaching holiness now. All right. All right. Come on. Amen. They got, they naming their church holiness. See? They'll even come with a holiness message. Amen. But they'll find some kind of way to make excuse for sin. Hey. Say They'll that. find some kind of way to try to smooth it over. Yes. To yes. make God, make sin not seem so bad. Amen. But they using the word holiness. Yes. They yes, cunning, yes. lying wait to deceive. Amen. But you will know them why they by their fruit. Amen. Amen. You could be in tune with God where God will let you know in your spirit why yes. they preaching. They ain't right. Come on. Amen. Having a form of godliness. Amen. But denying the power thereof. That's why you ain't got the anointing. Say it, That's say why it. you don't feel the same way you used to feel. All right, all Preacher. Right. Come on. You used to have the anointing of God. You used to have the favor of God. You used to feel the spirit of come God on, moving on. through the message. But now it is sift. Amen. Because you have gone against the word of God. Yes. Amen. Did, used to walk upright. Used to do those things that please God. But then you turn from God. Yes. Amen. And went after covetousness. Amen. That's why Jesus said, beware of covetousness. Yes. He yes. said, beware of covetousness. Yes. Beware of covetousness. Yes. Amen. Because covetousness, amen, is the desire to have more and more. Covetousness, it won't, it won't let you be comfortable and content. Covetousness won't let you be comfortable. All right now. Amen. But you got to learn godliness with contentment. That's great game. Amen. 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 Rich toward God. Yes. Go ahead, yes. evangelist. Amen. Adultery. Yes. Fornication. Uncleanness. Right in the church. Amen. Not yet. We expect that in the world. Amen. Amen. The problem, I don't have the problem. Amen. I do got a problem with the world sinning. Right. But we expect them to sin because they sinners. Right. But the problem is with these hypocrite and church folk All right. saying that they holy, yeah. saying that they saints of God, right. saying that they saved just like you are, but yet they found in adultery. Yes. yes. They found in uncleanliness. Yes. Amen. You'll know them by their fruit. Amen. How can two walk together except they be agreed? Amen. Come There's on. no fellowship with God if you in sin. That's right. There's no fellowship with God if you're not working, walking, uh, working the righteousness of God. Amen. 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 Right in the church. Go ahead. Lasciviousness. Yeah. Idolatry. Yes. Witch, witchcraft. Witchcraft. Hatred. Uh huh. Variance. Yes. Emulations. Yeah. Wrath. All these things God is against. Amen. All these things. And if you study these things, all these things is right in the church as well. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We got to avoid these things. Yeah. Hey, maliciousness, wishing evil against your brother. Wrath and witchcraft. Amen. Come on. Folk wearing mood rings and going tear at car, calling 1 800 numbers. Yeah. God is against these yes, things. Yes, yes, Who yes. told you, amen, that it's all right for you to sin? Come on now. Amen. Sin is still wrong. God is coming back for a church that's without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, or any such thing. Amen. And mark them which cause divisions and, and offenses that's contrary yes, to this sound yes, doctrine. Yes. He said, I don't even care if it's an angel. Amen. Amen. Yes, if amen. an angel come and preach, yes. amen, something which you have not learned or received from God, he said, let him be a curse. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Hey, man, it's time to stand. All right. Hey, man, it's time to stand, saints of God. Because things are going to get worse. Oh, yes, hey, man, on. it's going to get worse in the world, and it's yes. going to get worse for the church. Yes, it is. They're going to come is. against the church stronger. All right, all right, but that's why right. God is creating soldiers in the army of the yes, Lord. Yes, amen, amen. Creating amen. soldiers amen. on the battlefield for yes. my Lord. I'm on the battlefield for yes, Jesus. Yes, yes, amen. Yes. You come against me, amen, I'm going to stand. All right, all right. Amen. Talk about me. Come on. Amen. Ridicule me. Amen. He said, bless it Come on. when you are persecuted. Yes. yes. When they shall speak evil against you. Yes. And all manner of evil against you falsely. Yes, yes. Amen. But rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward. Amen. Somebody going to have to stand. All right, all right. God will not leave himself without a witness. Say it. Somebody going to have to stand. Yes. Amen. You want me to keep going, Bishop? Keep going. Bishop said, keep on going. Amen. So I'm going to come on through. Amen. You got to live holy, Amen. sanctified in this present world, and be not conformed to this war. Amen. This world, but be conformed to the word and be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. Amen. It's time to make a difference between clean and unclean. It's time to keep a difference between what's holy and what's not holy. Amen. What's of the world and what is, what's not of the world. Amen. The problem is folk trying to mix the world and God too. They trying to they trying to bring these things over in God. Amen. And, and because he a preacher, amen, and because he a pastor, amen, folk gonna follow that blind leader. All right. Amen. But you gotta make sure you stand fast in what you've been taught. Amen. Amen. Living right. Go ahead. Ver Did we finish that? No, sir. Seditions. Seditions. Against, heresies. Yeah, always against everything. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Heresies. Amen. That's false. All that false teaching. Yes. Amen. A lot of churches is falling into that category. Yes. Hey, yes. Teaching their own doctrine. Right. Things that's right. not according to what the word of God right. say. Hey, that's false teaching when it when it don't when it when it ain't lining up with the word. Come on now. Come yes. on. Yes. Amen. Yes. Anything that's that you preaching that's contrary to the word is a heresy. Amen. Go ahead. Envying, envying, hating, you know, uh, envying and lusting after titles. Yes, 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 yes. Hey Amen. You Come got on. folk that's in the church lusting after titles. Yes, yes, yes. Hey Amen. But I want more of God. Amen. Hey Amen. If I be overlooked, just give me more of Jesus. Come on, Come give on. me more of God. Yes. Give yes. me more of your ways, Lord. Amen. 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 They trying to be accepted of people. Right. Amen. But they putting off God and not trying to be accepted of God. Right. They right. got that thing backwards. Come give on, me man. more of you, God. Yes, Lord. More of your ways, oh God. Make Amen. me ready, God. Amen. For whatever I got to face. Come on. Amen. Time is winding up. Yes, yes, it and is. And time is running out. Amen. Amen. It's time to get your life right if you ain't right. Yes. It's time to give your life to Jesus if you ain't right. Amen. You know it's something missing. Some of y'all watching, listening with tears in your eyes. Amen. Amen. The spirit of the Lord is dealing with you. Yes. Amen. But that's that conviction of God. Yes. Amen. And that's the love of God. Yes. And what you feeling, that's the grace of God yes. that yes. have appeared to all men, teaching us to deny ungodliness and worldly yes. lusts yes. that Come we on. should live soberly oh, and righteously yes. and godly yes. in this present yes, world. Lord. Yes, Lord. And he want to save you today. Come on now. Amen. Don't let it be said too late. Come on. Amen. You don't know where death at. You don't. We don't know when the rapture is going to happen. That's right. That's why he said, be ye ready. Amen. Be ye ready for the coming of the Lord. Draw up nigh. Amen. Ready or not, Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming. I said, ready or not, oh, yes. he coming back. Oh, yes, he is. Amen. Some folk going to be not. Some folk ain't going, they not going to be ready and they think they ready. See, Who see, have bewitched see. you? Amen. Amen. The devil deceiving people. Yeah. Amen. Thinking that their garments is white as snow, but they they're going to be found naked. Amen. That means without righteousness. Amen. That means they're not going to be found clothed in holiness. Come on. They're going to be on. found naked. I believe say it's that, Ro uh, Revelation 16 chapter. Come on. Well, where he said they're not going to, they're going to be found naked. 15 verse. I'm, I'm in the book. Amen. Amen. Romans, uh, what's that? Revelation 16 and for 15. 15. Yes. Amen. You want to read? Yeah. Behold, yeah. I come as a thief. Ready Bless or not, he coming. Mm -hmm. right. Blessed is he that watcheth yeah. and keepeth his garments. Keepeth his salvation. Lest he be, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Lest he be, lest he walk naked. 
Yes. Without righteousness. Come on. Without holiness. Come on now. Without living right. Yes. Sitting right in the church. See? Going to church every Sunday. My God. But shame on those that think they right and they don't even go to church every Sunday. Oh, yeah. Shame on them too. The devil have deceived you. Yeah. Got you comfortable not being in the house of God. Amen. They don't like that kind of teaching, but it's God sent me to warn the people. Yes, yes, yes. Warn them. Amen. Show my people their sins in the house of Jacob, their transgressions. Yes, God. Hallelujah. He said, be faithful. Be faithful now unto death, making excuses for not being faithful to God. Got you comfortable sitting at home and just watching on the TV. Yes. He said, not forsaking. The assembling of ourselves. He didn't give you an internet pastor. All right. He didn't give you a Facebook pastor. He didn't give you a YouTube pastor. Come on. You supposed to come to church. All right. Where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. For some of y'all, he gonna he gonna let you stop feeling the anointing. All right. All right. All right. I hear it. He All gonna right. let some of y'all stop feeling the anointing that you feel it when you watch it on the TV because the devil have deceived you thinking it's all right. I just watch it on church. I just watch it on the television. Yeah. I just watch it on Facebook. He gonna, he gonna withdraw that from you to oh, let you know he's not pleased and when my preacher pipe, you wouldn't dance. Oh my God. Hallelujah. My God. My God. I thank God for the word of God. Yes, hey, Amen. I didn't, I didn't get up here on purpose to say this. Amen. But it's time to live right. Amen. It's time oh, oh, to live oh. right. Yes. Hallelujah. We ain't at any moment it could be said too late. Yes. Amen. We only get one shot at this thing in this on, life. Man. Once you dead, it's over. Come on now. Ain't no more second chances. Amen. Amen. Hell is a prepared place for unprepared people. Yes, yes. I said, like they say, they got the they got the saying that heaven is a prepared place. Heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. Right. But hell is a, a, a prepared place for unprepared people. Amen. Amen. Whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Come on. Amen. Who walking in adultery. Come on, Who walking man. in sin. Yes. Amen. Who can't put those cigarettes down. All right. Who can't stay at home with their own wife. See? Who Come can't on. stay at home with their own husband. Come on, Holiness man. without Holy. which no man shall see the Lord. Amen. 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 You got to come straight. Yeah. Amen. Or you could die in the crooked path. Yes. Amen. It's a lot of ways that lead to the lake of fire. Yes. Hey, but yes. straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leadeth to life. Oh, holy. Glory Amen. To we God. gotta stay in this narrow yes, way. Lord. Yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. And because of and because iniquity abound, yes. and because an evil men wax worse and worse, yes. sometimes that narrow path gotta get a little more yes. narrower. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. Sometimes that narrow path gonna have to get a little more narrower. Come on now. What am I meaning? Amen. Sometimes we got to restrict ourselves from certain yes, things. Yes. Hey, cause things are evolving. Amen. The spirit sin is evolving. Yes, the is. spirit of the antichrist is evolving. All right now. All right. Hey, Amen. If it look like sin, get away from it. Yes. yes. When it is sin, yes. get away from it. Amen. Hey, man, restrict yourself. Amen. Hey, man, they removing the landmark. Yes. Hey, Amen. They broadening their borders. Come on. Amen. And God is against that. All right. Amen. Man. It's time to live holy yes, or you're going to die in your sins. Amen. After Amen. that, the judgment. Yes. How would you stand before God? Come on now. Hey, is your soul right with God? Say it. Say you got to make sure your soul is right Amen. with God. Don't just say your soul is right. Amen. You got to make sure your soul is right with God. Yes. How do I? How do I make sure my soul is right with God? Amen. You got to study. He said, search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. Mm -hmm. For they are that testify it to me. Come on. Hey, Amen. Jesus, hey, man, you need to let them in your heart today. And let them in to stay. Because he can save you. He can wash you. He can deliver you from all the filthiness of the flesh. And Come the spirit man. perfecting holiness in the fear of him. He can do it for you today. Amen. Hey, amen. let him in. Father God, in the name of, Jesus. Name of Jesus. Lord, yeah. I pray, oh God, yeah. that you yeah. save somebody, save oh God. God. Lord, save we Lord. know that your spirit is yes. moving, yes, oh God. You still in the blessing God. business. Yes. You still saving. Yes, you still Lord. making ways out of nowhere. Yes. You still yes. opening up doors, oh God. Yes. You still yes. calling the lost. Yes. You still drawing the souls. Oh, save Jesus. today, oh God. Yes, save in the name of Jesus, oh God. Bless every word that's been came forth from Yes, evangelist yes, and myself God. oh God let it go out yes God Lord God yes, touching their heart pricking their heart yes, troubling God. them in their sleep yes, not giving them rest until they oh, come God. unto you where they may find rest yes 
Yes, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Keep us in this gospel way, oh God. Help keep our focus on you, God. Despite what the world is doing, oh God. Into my shadow. Despite what the world is doing, oh God. Despite what some of these churches are doing, oh God. Help us to keep up the blessed stained banner, God. Your blood stained banner, oh God. Oh God, letting the dying world know, oh God, that you soon to return, oh God. Jesus is coming back. Yes, God. He's coming back. Yes, he is. Be ready. Thank you, Jesus. For the coming of the Lord. Amen. Draw off nine. Yeah. God bless you. We God love you. you. Amen. To our next telecast and broadcast. Amen. Amen. This is Old Landmark. Holiness through Christ Outreach Ministry. Yes. God bless you. We love you. Give God a praise. Yeah. Oh, my brother.